Injured workers, have you been injured, taken out of work, paid checks, and now your doctor is releasing you to light duty? Well, that's a question that we got sent in to us today, and I want to address that in this video. It's going to be a little longer than our other videos, but if you have been released to light duty and are receiving income benefit checks, you're going to want to listen, especially towards the end as to some of the things you want to look out for in your claim. Hello, my name is Ty Wilson. I'm a Georgia workers' compensation attorney practicing law in the state of Georgia. And our question, which was sent in today from a gentleman, states, I was injured on the job and taken out of work. I have received medical treatment and ultimately was forced to undergo surgery for my back injury. I am receiving checks from the insurance company for being out of work. However, recently I have been released to light duty by my doctor. What do I need to know prior to returning to work? Well, this is one of the most critical times in a work injury claim. The last thing you wanna do if you're receiving income benefits is when that employer calls you and says, good news, we have light duty work for you. Well, there's a lot more questions than just that. And so the first thing I would say is do not just return to work. This is a very important time in your workers' compensation claim. And during important times, you need to weigh out all of the possibilities that could happen as a result of returning back to work. So I would recommend that you reach out to a Georgia workers' compensation attorney. We're happy to take the call and we'll be happy to talk to you about what your options are. But there's some things to think about and we've made some notes. If you mishandle this, this could be a very uh, detrimental or dangerous time in your workers' compensation claim. So if you're taken out of work and you're receiving weekly benefit checks for temporary total disability benefits, you do not want to just return back to work. What is important is that the employer is required under Georgia law, more specifically Board Rule 240 and the official code of Georgia annotated section 34-9-240, which is the rules that the employer must follow. I know when you're an injured worker, you say, all these rules, all these rules, these rules contain me and limit me and limit who I can see and treat with and what my pay is and so forth. Well, the employers also have some rules. And this is a critical one that you wanna hold their feet to the fire. And it's called a return to work, WC240. So what must happen, okay? Well, what must happen is the employer must put together a light duty job that they believe is obviously within your light duty restrictions. And they must send it over in the form of a WC240A to the doctor. They must also send you a notice that they are sending the WC240 and that it's coming. And so what must happen then? Well, then the doctor has to review it. Doctors are busy. And then the doctor has to sign off on it. If the doctor doesn't sign off on it, they can't return you back to work. And that's really an important thing. It's very difficult when you feel the stress of being asked to return back to work, to sit there and say, I don't have the proper documentation. One of the reasons we recommend you get an attorney involved as they will not be able to contact you if you are represented by counsel. They're supposed to share this information with your counsel. So once again, the 240A should go to the doctor from the employer. The employer should sign up to the doctor from the employer and the doctor should sign off on it. If the doctor doesn't sign off on it or the doctor modifies the duties, then the employer has the possibility of sending the WC240 to you. Now there are time deadlines and we'll get to that in just a second. And telling you when they want you to show up for work and what your job duties will be and what you will be doing. And that's called the WC240. So there's two different forms we're talking about. And we'll show them here on this uh, video. We'll pop up the WC240 and then also the WC240A which shows all the different types of job duties and or uh, ways that you can move depending upon the type of injury that you have. So once again, the doctor must sign off on it. The doctor must have seen you, the injured worker, within 60 days to be able to sign off on it. If it's beyond the 60 days, that brings up some questions and that's something that you should discuss with an attorney if you have that situation. And then the doctor or the uh, employer insurer is supposed to send the document along with, as I said, the WC240 that says you are to show up at this location at this time 
on this day to start work at this position and here is proof that your doctor signed off on it. So all those things must be true in order for you to return back to work. That is not something that's easy. Now what's easy is if they just call you and say, hey, we got work for you and you just go back to work. That's one way you can handle it. However, I would say that what do you do if you re-injure yourself? You kind of forced yourself back to work. You need to know that medically speaking, you can do the job that that employer wants to bring you back on. So some other things that um, we get questions about related to the 240. If they, meaning the employer and the insurer, go through all the trouble, get the doctor to sign off, the doctor does sign off, now you've received a 240 and you're supposed to show up for work on a certain day. You are obligated under Georgia law to make a good faith effort. And so what does that mean? Well, and more importantly, what happens if you can't make it? Well, if you can make it eight hours, but you can't make it 15 working days, the insurance company is immediately supposed to start your weekly checks back up, okay? So there are some designations in there. You gotta make it eight hours or one shift. If you don't make it eight hours or one shift, they'll probably work to suspend your benefits. You'll probably be wrapped up in a herring and uh, it could get hairy fast. That being said, if you make it eight hours, but you can't make it 15 working days, well, what do you do? Well, obviously if you're in a great deal of pain, you need to let the supervisor know and you need to get back to the doctor as quickly as possible. You need to let them know what you were doing, what aggravated your injury, and they will likely what is supposed to happen, at least in the world of theory, is to adjust your light duty restrictions. And that may or may not change the uh, job duties on the WC240 return to work form. That being said, if you do not return back to the doctor and just claim that you're injured, there's probably gonna be a hearing filed again and you're gonna get tied up into litigation where the employer and the insurer's attorney is gonna be working to try to make sure that those checks do not get cut back on and claim that you did not make a good faith effort in attempting to return back to work. As you can see, this is a very tricky matter. And so what is recommended is that you reach out to a Georgia workers' compensation attorney, talk about the specific facts. Some things you wanna bring with you in that conversation is, if you've known anyone else who's been injured on the job, what employers tend to do is they tend to treat workers the same. If someone's been hurt on the job in the past, well, that may be what's happening to you or maybe what's likely to happen to you. However, um, if you don't know anyone, that's okay. You can speak with the Georgia Workers' Compensation Attorney and find out what your options are. You need to make the best decision for you and your family. Unfortunately, the employer and the insurer are not always concerned about you. They may be concerned about you, but you're in the hierarchy of employer first for the employer, insurer first or, or for the insurer, and then you last between those two and they are directly competing against you they're looking to shut the claim down and if you've been injured to the point where you've had any type of surgery and now you're being released to light duty there is always a huge question can you work the same job that you were working prior to that injury and that obviously depends upon the job duties and what it is you're actually doing if you can't you need to discuss with a georgia workers compensation attorney what would be your best course down the road. And may I recommend checking out our video, how and when it may be time to settle your Georgia workers' compensation claim. Now getting back to this, if you cannot make work for 15 days, as I said, 15 working days, they should immediately recommence your benefits. So if you find yourself in a position where you're served at 240, and you do not have counsel, you wanna reach out to counsel and talk to them about what your options are. If you've been released to light duty, you need to speak with the Georgia Workers Compensation Attorney as the law puts duties upon you as the injured worker, even if the employer's not bringing you back to work. And you need to know what those are. And so feel free to give our office a call. We're always happy to talk to you. And we realize that not everybody needs an attorney, but sometimes you need some guidance and we often do that uh, quite a bit, as, as a matter of fact, and don't mind doing it, just so you know what is in your best interest.
We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.